Olympics. These are three of the greatest athletes in the world, all unvaccinated, all looking at the data and making rational choices for themselves based on consultation with medical professionals. They've all had it, to my knowledge, COVID, and all been 100% fine, just like me, who's had it twice, Sean. I know I might look like the perfect specimen of health, but trust me, I ain't on those guys' levels, and you I've can, been fine, you can too. Work out, you can do a Hannity yeah. workout. We'll take you in our dojo. You know, we might beat you up a little bit, but it, hey, we won't I'll we bring won't my Let's Go Brandon. I'll bring the Let's Go Brandon shirt. We'll be ready to go. We'll see who can bench more. I'll wear my Let's Go Brandon shirt. Maybe we can get Joe Biden to do a push-up contest for this, too. Uh, I'll win, uh, but if you want to go for it, we'll, we'll do it for charity. We'll do it on, on, on camera. Okay, what is it about men and push-up contests? It's 2022. Why are we still doing this? It's, how many push-ups you want to do here, pal? You know, right. I mean, jokingly, you know, come on, run with me, man. Come on, Donald. Come on, man. How many push-ups can you do? Well, Joe, the president's busy cleaning up the mess you left. I'll take you up on the challenge. You name the time and place, I'm ready. I don't even need to practice. I train every day. All right, tell me where and when. Sean Hannity is the latest in a historical trend of men thinking that one specific form of physical strength means literally anything other than that, but alas, here we are. On Monday night, politics and sports commentator Clay Travis joined Hannity to applaud Aaron Rodgers, a football quarterback who apparently lost a brutal playoff game last week. Why they would be applauding him, I didn't really understand until I learned that Aaron Rodgers is somewhat of a hero of the unvaccinated. Is this all starting to make sense? So Hannity and Travis were were proud that Aaron Rodgers was pushing back on Biden's claim that COVID is the, quote, pandemic of the unvaccinated. Now, I too have a problem with the Biden administration's phrasing of that, because it leaves out crucial consideration for people and communities who have been overlooked by vaccine outreach, among other things. But instead of having a nuanced discussion about any of the reasons why delineating people suffering from an illness in general is not a totally ethical idea, the segment devolved into hypermasculine idiocy. Travis said that he wanted to have a push-up contest with Hannity and that Biden should be invited, to which Hannity responded weirdly seriously. Uh, I'll win. Uh, but if you want to go for it, we'll, we'll do it for charity. He even offered to do it for charity, which suggests that he is really serious about challenging a 79-year-old man who hates him to a contest of fitness. Look, I know you don't like Biden, Sean, but the dude has a few decades on you. So objectively, this isn't a fair contest. But as we know, the right doesn't like to play fair and square. Why would they when cheating has always been a useful strategy for them? Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at Caro Johnson 917.